But why bother about decentralization of data science? What are we going to gain from this? Decentralization in the context of data science and machine learning refers to the distribution of computation, data and decision making processes across multiple nodes and entities rather than relying on a centralized system. There are several reasons why decentralization is becoming increasingly relevant and valuable in the field of data science, especially in the context of machine learning. The first reason is privacy and security. Now, centralized model often requires aggregating large amounts of data, sensitive data in one location, raising privacy concerns. Whereas decentralized approaches allow data to remain under the control of the data owners, reducing the risk of privacy breaches. Centralized repositories are attractive targets for cyber attacks. Whereas in a decentralized model, data is distributed among several entities, making it more difficult for attackers to compromise the entire data set. Now, Decentralization allows individuals to retain ownership and control over their data. This is particularly important in scenarios where personal data is used for training models, ensuring that users have a say in how their data is being utilized. It also reduces dependency on centralized systems and centralized organizations. Now, another important benefit of decentralized system is scalability. Machine learning is a computationally demanding process. And training a model on a large amount of data is really expensive. Whereas decentralizing the task and training the models in small amount of data can be much more scalable approach of doing that. Apart from that, decentralization supports the deployment of machine learning models on edge devices, reducing the need for centralized cloud-based processing. This is particularly beneficial in applications where low latency is crucial. Centralized systems are vulnerable to failures or disruptions because of single point of failure. Decentralized systems are more robust and resilient as failures or attacks in one node do not really compromise all the other nodes. Now, these are technical points. Now, there are some social and legal points as well. Starting with fairness and bias mitigation. Think about it. Say you are training a model with data collected from North Americans and then you want to use that model for services catered to Chinese people or Indians. There are local contexts and nuances present in different data sources and that may not transfer to a different society. The problem is centralized models trained on biased data sets may unintentionally amplify existing biases. Whereas decentralized approaches allow for more diverse data sources, potentially reducing the risk of bias amplification. Now, there are some legal points as well. There are various data localization as well as privacy laws coming in. Some jurisdictions have regulations requiring data to be stored locally, say GDPR in the European Union. Decentralization supports data localization by distributing data across different geographic locations while still allowing for models to be trained and to be deployed. Same with privacy laws. Decentralized systems can be designed to comply with privacy laws and regulations by minimizing the movement of sensitive data across borders. Now, the last point, but not the least point, is cost effectiveness. Decentralized processing of data can be significantly cost effective. 
data can be stored or left on user devices where data is being created and data can be processed in the same devices without uploading them to the centralized database storing data on user devices in a decentralized manner eliminates the need for large centralized databases think how much you can save on storage cost apart from that you have to also move data from the user devices to the centralized location so there is also bandwidth cost so you are also saving bandwidth cost in a decentralized system now in summary decentralization in data science and machine learning addresses various challenges related to privacy security scalability fairness regularity compliance and also can be economically beneficial